Okay, Mr. Capone, where are you? Open the door. Oh, you're so ugly. Have any last words? You come into my house? Their doorman was kind enough to let me in. You kill my men. Uh, irony? I didn't know human beings mattered to you. Would you kill an unarmed man? You, Elliot Ness? Okay, revenge. That Elliot Ness is dead. You killed him yourself. Papa! Vittorio! Are you gonna kill me in front of my son? That stain right there is all that's left of Denunzio. One of my best men. I told him to take care of the butcher on East Main. One of the jerks who've been screwing with me for months. We had to make an example of him. Send a message to the other storekeepers. Denunzio ripped out his guts and hung him up with the merchandise. But he did it while the butcher's daughter was watching. Fucking Denunzio. There are lines that cannot be crossed. We have to protect the innocence of children. Keep them far, far away from certain experiences. Experience. Your son should know what kind of monster his father is. I can't think of a better life lesson. Look, Vittorio. <laughs> his hand's shaking. Booze turns men into cowards. You'll be like your father. Never drink. It's funny, huh? The white knight of the Volstead Act gets licked up to kill the king of bootleg booze. Uh... Relax, son. Nobody's going to kill anybody. I'd love to introduce you to a girl your age, Vittorio. Her name is Claire Dockers, and she sings like an angel. You two would get along. Two days ago, Claire's father caught up with yours in a warehouse. Your father was hitting innocent people, and that's not right. He told him to stop, but your father ignored him and pulled out a gun to shoot him. Claire's father was quicker. He drew his gun first and fired, but the bullet jammed. Your father killed Claire's father, in cold blood. He kicked him in the face so many times, not even Claire herself would have recognized him. You'll never prove I killed Dacus. I know. And that's why I'm here. But now I know I'm better than you. Your father is a murderer, and Claire hasn't stopped crying these last two days, all because of him. Never forget that, Vittorio. Hold it! Let him go. Run, Ness, and forget I exist. Or I'll have to report what you just did. And I do have witnesses. You hear me, nurse? Damn it, he need to take out all these witnesses now. He never leave any witnesses, never. Mm -mm -mm. That's some first class pie. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. My car is parked outside. If you could join me as soon as possible, I'll be doubly grateful. Gentlemen, I'm closing up. Time to move along. So early? What are you talking about, Ness? Are you serious? Uh... Lie. I think... A little bit lie will be okay, like. My nephew's sick and my sister needs me. I'm sorry. Ah, what a pussy. Nurse Ness to the rescue. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> All right, I am ready. Uh, let's take a bullet. I should have loaded it into Docker's gun and shot Capone. Maybe it would have jammed again. But one way or another, it would all be over. Right, we need to get some tips. 
<laughs> well, at least I got something. All right. Let's uh, see all lost children. Damn it. Two, looks like two, uh, lots of them. Damn it. Something wrong here. Let's uh, check the machine. It's working? No. Right. Uh, which way now? Uh, two boot buzzers again. I need to talk to them. Hey lads, leave my shop alone and uh, put the boxes uh, next to the door, please. At last, Mr. Ness. Please get in. Where are we going? A place that's a little too fancy for a guy like you. But if it's any consolation, it's way too fancy for me. Please get in. I can't afford for you to catch a cold. Never follow a stranger. <laughs> too late for that. I should ask him a name or something. He wouldn't be stranger anymore. Damn it, it's rainy, cold, rainy, in oh, and it was some kind of crash here. Ah, oh, no, it's not a crash. Roadworks. What place is that? It's some kind of... <sighs> Cinema or something, theater. Club. Or hotel. No idea. Let's see. Looks like hotel. We'll be going up in a couple of minutes. I'll wait for you in the cable car. Up where? Mm. All right, let's go. Cable car. I couldn't follow him straight away with him. Couldn't go with him. But uh, where is he now? Maybe we can ask somebody. What the freaking hell is that? Mask? Oh yeah, I will ask these two ladies. Uh, nice tattoos. Triads. I bet they are triads. Alright. The Hindenburg. Her forced landing in New Jersey almost cost the lives of over 100 passengers. Oh well. Hmm, yeah. Nearly a fireball in midair. It would have burned down half the city. The station. Let's go that way. I can understand we need to go that way. It's very slow game. It's like African movie or something. Very slow movie. Oh, why are you so clumsy? Do you need help? Oh, uh, you have a headache. I checked the painting first. Hey, Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. Good. Good to know. Need to get through. Let me through. All right, I can get through. All right, I check uh, some tomato coke. Damn. Because it's tomato on the top of the coke bottle. Okay, let's go. Hotel. I wonder if anything will start happening in this game. Very wide game. Scared of heights? 
Since I was a kid, I like to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> that makes two of us. But we'll be honest. From now on. If you need a paper bag, I have one. We need to have a own character or something. How high does this thing go? Higher than the clouds. Damn it, this looks unreal. Nice safe door that was stolen from bank uh, 20 years ago. Where now? They have even reception desk. In this place, reception desk. It's weird. I'm afraid I can't come with you. Thanks for the pie. But welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan, and I'm glad to be of service. Your name, please. Ah, uh, real name. Ness. Elliot Ness. Thank you, Mr. Ness. Nice choice. Sounds genuine. And now, how can I help you? I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Ness. Cunningham. Listen, Susan. I know more than 60 aliases for Al Capone, so you have two options. One is to delay my appointment with him until I guess the right one, which he is not going to like. <laughs> The other is to send me through and earn my eternal gratitude and his. Your call. He's... he's in the presidential suite. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. Thank you, Susan. Well said. Have a pleasant stay at the Grand Hindenburg Hotel, Mr. Ness. Alright, let's go. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza let's check, uh, leaves in this three thing. minutes. Okay, let's go now. And uh, nice door. I love this wooden work. You can't go in there, sir. They're in rehearsal. Theater? Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. They open in a couple of nights. Perhaps Mr. Capone can get you a ticket? Capone? He's at this hotel? Gosh, I'd heard the opposite. All right, we need to find a way in. Let's check uh, this floor. Glass floor. Looks amazing. Higher than the clouds. Damn it, he didn't lie. Which way now? All right. What kind of person can afford this kind of luxury? Shit. You think it's going to be a quiet day and suddenly the storm hits you. Let's run. We need to exercise as well. No, I can't go that way. I can go that way, no way. Oh yeah, that way. Running for us it's nothing. It's like uh, breathing. Your attention please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. Okay, good to know. With two minutes I might... Uh, Settle down this business. Okay, we need to probably go that way. I saw you already. <gasps> nice firework. The window cleaners up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
اطلع بالفيو Nobody will start shooting. <sighs> oh, hello, Mr. Is that blood or what? Or ketchup? What happened here? Nothing to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on the Hindenburg. Oh no. Uh... How can you work in a place like this? <laughs> you don't want to know where I worked before this, my good man. Are you saying the law doesn't apply here? We're too high up, my good man. The law has always preferred to look down. You never had problems with the police? Oh, many a one, my good man. In fact, what I'm cleaning up is today's first problem. Good to know, good to know. All right, thanks for your information. Let's see what the hell is that. That's uh, like a map, yeah. All right, good to know, good to know. Okay, my mission will be just cross the bridge. It will be some kind of puzzle or something. It will be not so easy. Okay, we're crossing the bridge. We need to go forward, yeah? Lightning strikes. We hear some sounds. Right, then we see... Somebody, King of Knives. Alright. And... Uh, there he is. All right, he. I. I think he had already bad day today. Did he kill him? Her? Right. I'm sorry. Alright, let's go now forward. I think we're getting to the final destination. And now we need to just, I think, go that way, yeah? If it wasn't for my habit of checking all possible exits when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. Okay, this is exit, all right. Oops. You should be rotting in jail. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. Yeah, not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer to death than when I last saw you. As are you. You threatening me again? Why did you ask me here? Why did you come? I wanted to see if you'd improved with age. I'm glad to see the answer's no. When you said rot in jail, you really meant it, huh? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. I want to hire you. What? I what? require your services as a detective. You're so old, I don't know if you're senile or if you're joking. Look, Ness, my granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. When what happened to my son, Vittorio, I, uh, I put her in a boarding school. She was entered under a false surname, Colombo. Nobody knows who she is. 
Nobody? Eh, only Milton. The man who brought you here. I trust him completely. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. Any clues? Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Uh, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. As for the guy, the school principal said he was tall and slim, uh, in his 50s. No particular accent. Black hair, no beard, no glasses. Well dressed. Could be anyone. But I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Maybe they want control of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Huh. So where should I be looking? I'm not a cop anymore. Call the station. The station? Are you serious? The cops are rotten to the core. I should know. I helped make them that way. So why me? Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards and pointed a gun at me. You could have killed me. But you chose to restrain yourself. You even gave my son a lecture on ethics. You're the only honest man I know. Never. I'm not going to help you. I'm not asking you to help me. I'm asking you to rescue a little girl. Forget that her surname is Capone. Her name is Sophia. She's eight years old and smart as a whip. Okay, okay, you win. I'll help. Not for you, for her. But I want something in return. As you can Your see, heart. I'm not short of money. Ask. I won't haggle. Uh, maybe some donation or exile or jail. I would like to get go to jail or send uh, Capone to jail. Not sure. Uh, what to ask? What do you think, lads? What do we ask from him? Exile from Mafia, go to jail, or give some donation. Uh, I think we go for a jail. You confess to any crime you like and go back to jail forever. That won't be difficult. Since I got out of jail yesterday, I've committed a few. I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. And you can start by investigating Carlo Baccarini. How did you know? Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Wouldn't surprise me if Sophia's so-called uncle's papers were made by him. Besides, he's been cursing your name ever since we put you in jail. Hey, I treated him like a son. After you killed his parents. They were selling booze without my permission. Wait. You know where to find them? I have a good contact at the station. A girl. Rookie. Straight arrow. Reliable. A girl? You say you trust her? You are such a chauvinist. Do you trust me? Deal? Ah, punch him. Deal. Excellent. Keep Milton informed at all times, huh? You hear me? I know you from somewhere. 
He looks like a green mile or something uh, from movie. This uh, big guy. All right, and Yo, you're not gonna ask me for my last words. You should be running. I'm never going to help you. Why me? I'm not asking you to help me. I'm not a ghost. Damn it! I'll do it. Not for you. For her. Wow. How the hell I end up here? Like, is that? Dream. It's like a bullets flying all over the place with tracers. <laughs> all right, let's go forward. Probably no way back anyway. This town has become a jungle. We're not even the rats are safe. White rats. Those who swore to protect us fight to steal the last scraps of dignity we have left. And those who should judge them prefer to squandle over their prey. But it wasn't always like this. Okay, we need the to run forward. I was born in was a clean town. A place where it meant something to be a cop. Shooting detective. He took everything I had, but in the end I sent him to hell. Alright, we're in hell now. He took my life, got my feet back on the ground. But now he's back, and he's dragged me in. Yeah, tough life. Okay, sit down and think about. Uh, I'm gonna need help. Uh, I think uh, help will be whiskey. Good choice. Whiskey is always good for getting help. From whiskey, it's always excellent. Home. Damn it. Uh, I, we need to drink first. And now we can actually answer the phone. The red phone. Ness. Not a surprise. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. 31 Wicker Avenue in Lakeview. Thanks. Nice work. Elliot, what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Uh, that's totally true. I think he's mixed up in a kidnapping, but my client doesn't want the police involved. What are you getting yourself into? Who's your client? Alice, I don't have much time. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. Okay, let's continue drinking. Hopefully no phone will be... Tomorrow's going to be a Hopefully no ring phone will be ringing again. Yay. We finish our whiskey. And now we can finish with our video. And thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. 31 Wicker Avenue. This is it. You sure? I'm sure.